What is up, YouTube fam, and welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Gabrielle, also known as Gabby, back with another budgeting video. Guys, today we're going to be checking in on my cash envelopes, chatting about our crazy spending, as well as updating our categories and checking off our bills, all that stuff that makes a budget successful. So guys, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do all things budgeting, cash stuffing, and currently on a debt-free journey. We have some great goals this year to get rid of about $22,000 worth of debt, as well as savings. If you are into all of that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know I have a lot of new people, a lot of new faces that have recently subscribed and I just want to welcome you guys as well. Thank you. I've been reaching out to some new budgeters because I feel like I haven't been doing that recently. Just, you know, touching base with other people. This is a great community and I like to welcome everybody. So yeah, if you're new here and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're coming back, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of the support wholeheartedly so guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into our cash check slash weekly check-in okay um, first i want to apologize if i sound a little nasally guys i have picked up some type of bug okay um i got it from my middle daughter she's been sick poor thing she's really been down bad she's like my wild child and she likes to play and she's a ball of energy and she has just been like laying around not feeling well at all so she passed it on to mom of course but mom has to keep going so apologies about that but baby girl's feeling better now and hopefully she'll be back to 100 percent soon let's go ahead and open up our planner to the month of june and get to our monthly view um, I am a sticker budgeter. I am, and I do use a budget planner for most of my needs. If you are interested in this budget planner, it is an Erin Condren monthly planner. And I do have a link down below where you can get $10 off your first purchase. They recently just came out with a new one. And I'm kind of bummed because they don't have the neutral version, but they have like this flora, which is kind of like a softer version that I may pick up for next year. I'm not 100% sure yet on how I'm going to be budgeting next year as well. I feel like I want to make some changes, you know, maybe kind of do my own thing. <laughs> but um, yes, so this is the budget planner that I'm using. I'll be using this for the rest of the year. And um, if you're interested, go ahead. And this is a sticker kit from Caffeinated Kate that is in the description as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So guys, this is where I like to lay down all of my paydays as well as my bills that are due. And I check them off as the month progresses. This month, I have actually also been tracking my no spend. So we have a total of three no spends for the first week. And I'm going to be checking in from the first all the way to the 11th, guys, just because today's 11th and that's when I am filming this video. So we're going to get into that. Um, a few of our bills have came out. Uh, mortgage, HOA, as well as our car insurance. Our car insurance was actually a couple dollars more, um, maybe about three dollars more. It's one hundred and twenty-two ninety-nine, and it's normally one twenty around one twenty around one nineteen. But I think we're like in a new cycle, so the first the first bill is a little bit more. So yeah, and like I said, we had a total of three no spins. So that's pretty much it. These two bills have not cleared the account, so I don't check them off until they have cleared my bill pay account. So let's go ahead and turn on over to our weekly check-in where we can check in on our envelopes, see how much we spent. I can chat with you guys a little bit about what we've been spending on because <laughs> I like to share that. And I don't know if anybody's nosy like me, but I like to see what other people spend their money on. So let's go ahead and turn on over to our weekly check-in spread, which is here and chat a little bit. And I'll bring my binder here as well. This is my, um, you know, variable expenses binder. I kind of want a new binder guys. I have been watching, what's her name? Oh, my fro. I get her confused because she has baddies and budgets, I think, on Instagram. But she has those nice checkered binders. And I want one of those, but I think she sold out of them now, of course, because they're pretty, they're cute. And they're like, they look like Louis Vuitton. So I wanted one of those, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one. So you guys let me know if you have the plug on, on those binders. Those are really cute and they look fancy. So, of course, I would like that. But um, I'm getting a little bit bored with this one <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into our into our weekly check-in i'm gonna pull this down i don't want that nasty glare up there and these are the categories for anyone new that i tend to overspend on i like to do a check-in for these and just make sure i'm staying on track like our bills i really don't 
necessarily you know we don't go over and that's a lot we can't control but the groceries we can control that the eating out the spending money we can control those type of things so that's why i like to check in on these so for groceries guys we had a budget of 400 dollars and we have spent a total of 311 we normally spend a lot more on our first grocery trip for the month so we spent a lot on that first grocery trip and we basically just went to the commissary, which is the military equivalent of a grocery store, but we get discounted prices there. And I actually ran into Target and got a few things, guys. These prices are insane. I'm like, how do people actually survive <laughs> outside the military? I feel like groceries are expensive. So like, for example, a pack of bacon was like eight bucks. And then when I get at the commissary, there is like three, it may be 380. So that's a big difference so anyways groceries guys should have 89 dollars. let's go ahead and check on this envelope and see how much is in here <laughs> i'm sorry guys i am laughing at myself because i will just you know continue to, i'll just keep talking <laughs> gabby fits okay gabby fits 20 40 60 80 85 86 87 88 and 89 so we have 89 dollars. it is friday we just have to make it through the weekend. We get paid, I think, on Monday. So we'll be we'll be fine <laughs> with eighty eighty nine dollars to get us get us till then. So groceries is good. It matches up. Eating out, we've had a total of two hundred dollars for a budgeted this month, and then we spent a total of one fifteen. Let's see what we spent on that. I have my handy dandy um, laptop next to me to see exactly what we spent money on. Um, I did have some crab cheat day, even though crab is really not that bad, but I had a crab boil with like the butter, the potatoes, the corn. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, so we had crab du jour. Um, we, I told you guys we went to Olive Garden. If you, you know, watch the channel, me and the girls and my husband, we all went to Olive Garden to get soup. I love their Zuppa Toscana soup and it's really low calorie and all that, you know, since I'm trying to watch my weight and all that. But it was actually not that good, honestly. It was not that good. I make a copycat at home, and my husband was like, yours is better. So, you know, I was like, okay, okay, wife win. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, Olive Garden. What else? I had some Chick-fil-A, and, you know, that's always a plus. Chick-fil-A. Um, and I think the girls got McDonald's. So that's what we've been spending some money on out to eat. And we haven't really been eating out that much, but it just seems like it. Of course, my sister's calling. Let me decline this call <laughs> and get back to the video. Um, we're going to count and see how much is in here. Did we already do that? No, let's 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. And we're a dollar off. And I think that's just because, you know, we... Um, rounded up a dollar or something so we're really close so eating out is good spending guys no we're not on spending we're on gas gas oh my god we have spent so much money on gas we have a total of 200 dollars budgeted and we have only 250 for the entire month guys so we have 150 left i mean not 150 left we spent 156 and i think some of those gas expenses for may kind of carried over into june that's why it looks a little bit higher but we've been driving a lot more and we still are so i'm a little bit nervous i thought 250 would be good but i might need to bump it up to 300 so we have 43 dollars remaining and we have about 50 more dollars to put into our budget in the coming paychecks so gas is all online as well spending guys is 250 is what we budgeted we spent 202 i've given my husband a hundred dollars in cash and his spending is outrageous, okay? Let's see what we spent. One of them was me, okay, I, I, I'll admit. One was me. I did some Target spending. Um, and I did get Starbucks. And then I got some stuff on Etsy. But those were really low. Starbucks was like 5 bucks. Etsy, $13 was at Etsy. Almost $14, $13.99 was at Etsy. And target was like 20 bucks so yeah those are really those are really low my husband is the one who's out of control guys <laughs> okay so we have a total of 48 dollars left and i hope that works out for us for the next week i think i'm gonna up it a little bit i think we actually have more money coming to a lot more money coming to our spending category 450 yes i up that just because you know we have family coming and we would probably want to spend a little extra money so spending is good to go beauty guys um me and the girls haven't spent anything my husband spent 21 dollars getting his hair cut and we should have 79 dollars in here let's see what we have 20 
40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. So that is it. That is all she wrote, guys. And you guys see my saving challenge envelope back here, you know, peeping out. <laughs> so that is it for my cash check-in, guys. We're doing okay. Like I said, I'm a little bit nervous about gas expenses mainly um going over budget in that but everything else looks good we have a lot more money you know the stuff throughout the month so let me know down in the comments how your budget is going for the first week of june have you spent a lot have you spent a little and guys i will see you guys on my next video which will be my cash stuffing so thanks so much for watching and i if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe i will see you guys later bye guys